And a stranger shows up in the dead of night on Thanksgiving. Don't be a weirdo, okay? Imagine waking up to a stranger in your short-term rental and she's getting ready to take a shower. Well, that's exactly what happened to a family staying in a Norman in Norman over the long holiday weekend. News Force Kaylee Olivas shows us the video. This security camera sits right by the front door of this Norman home, but it wasn't enough to deter a home intruder. Airbnb guests woke up to a stranger showering in the home. They had no clue who she was, but apparently she had been in the house for at least two hours before being caught. It's just really sad that it's hard to even live down here anymore. Looking to make some extra cash, Molly Woodrow started renting her Norman home on Airbnb. Her first guests stayed over Thanksgiving, but they left scared and with a full refund on their stay. This woman, now identified as Carrie Horn, is reportedly the reason why. Security video shows her peeking through the home early in the morning, looking around to see if she's been spotted, then entering the home without permission. Two and a half hours passed and the family staying had no clue until the guests entered the bathroom and they found um, the homeless woman showering. She was quickly ushered out. Yeah. Don't be a weirdo, okay? I don't know, I don't want to be a weirdo. You are. And the police were called. An arrest warrant has now been issued for Horn, citing she is wanted for stealing water utilities, which falls under first degree burglary. As of Monday afternoon, she has not been handcuffed yet. This isn't her first run in with the law. She has a lengthy criminal history in several different counties for possession of meth, assaulting an officer and defacing property. Now Woodrow wants to know, saying the unhoused population is growing and crime rates are rising, how the city plans to protect its taxpayers. The residents that live down here are suffering from all of these crimes that are committed by the unhoused. In Norman, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Kaylee, thank you. Now, we have emailed all eight Norman City Council members as well as the mayor. So far, we've heard back from Austin Ball, and it's a pretty tough statement here. He says, our current councilors and those who are enriching themselves with the help of this city's homeless policies through the suffering of our homeless and mentally ill and taxpayers have created an extremely hostile environment for any citizen who tries to speak out. We'll have his full statement as well as one from the Ward 8 council member on KFOR.com.